doing okay at home. I've had to go back to my day job recently and it kind of sucks. I'll be honest with you. I mean, I need money, but while I was stuck at home, I gave myself a lot to do to make money. And now I have all of that stuff plus my day job all on top of each other right now. That's why there was no video last week because I did not get a chance to film. Scheduling didn't work out. It was my partner's birthday. Yada, yada, yada. Anyways, trying to hide my chef pants because I didn't feel like changing before this video. Didn't fix my hair or anything. That's where we're at. Hey y'all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video, I have a before and after little little workout challenge recap for y'all. Some of y'all may know a YouTuber named Chloe Ting. She puts out free workout programs on YouTube. Whilst we're all in quarantine, I couldn't go to the gym. So I had to find another way to work out and I'm the cardio bunny. I usually go to the gym and I run, and I do the elliptical and I do yoga. And I don't really do a lot of strength training or weightlifting or anything like that. It's just never been my wheelhouse. I've never felt comfortable like in the weight section, but I felt comfortable doing Chloe Ting's because they were mostly body weight workouts and resistance band workouts, which is which body weight workouts is something I do have experience with. So I was a lot more comfortable doing her program. So I started out doing the 25 day hourglass challenge. That was her most recent one up until up until a couple days ago she uploaded or she started her summer shred challenge which i'm not sure if i'm going to do that one next or another one but i'm definitely going to do another one because obviously we still can't go to the gym i know that our last challenge was supposed to be grow your butt and slim your waist <laughs> We're back with another brand new program and we're targeting both your abs and booty in this 25 days hourglass challenge that you can do right at home. Which my goals going into it were not to grow my butt, it was to tighten up my butt because there is plenty of butt there. It already doesn't fit in jeans. I do not need to make it any bigger. <laughs> and slim waist because I deal with the fupa that everyone, that I think all of us deal with. So, jumped in, day one, ready to go. I was surprised with myself that I could get through the workouts. Not easily, but like, that I could get through them. I was proud of myself for being able to get through them and actually do the workouts. Finished both videos for today. I feel like it wasn't that hard, except for like when you're lying down, your legs are straight up, and you like lift your butt. I I don't know what muscles those are, but I have none of those. Everything else, I feel like I could do for the most part, but I am tired and hot and sweaty. And around day six. My partner joined in. Just finished day six of Chloe Ting's workout, 25 day hourglass challenge. I thought things were getting easier and I thought that like, I could get through the workout just fine, but we went for a bike ride today before I did the videos and we live in a very hilly area, so. Workout hit twice as hard today, and I'm in so much pain. I don't have any before and afters for him because he kind of joined in later, but he did finish up the rest of the program with me, and he did lose some weight, so, so proud of him, and he's gonna do the next challenge with me, so I might film 
before and afters with him as well because I know not a lot of men do her workouts, but they work for men as well. He didn't really have a butt and he wanted to get a butt and now he kind of has a little butt. He wanted to round out that square man butt. I think maybe 10 or 12 days or something like that into the workouts, my resistance bands came from Amazon and oh my God. I thought I could get through the workout. It was no problem. I could get through it. And then I got resistance bands. I'm dead. I hurt so much. Every time there's a new video in the schedule that I haven't done before, I know I'm gonna die. I know that's it. I'm gonna hurt so much and it's gonna be so hard. Also, I also got these today. These came in from Amazon. I thought the workouts were getting easier. And then I tried it with the light one, with the lightest one. a nightmare in the beginning also Chloe give a girl a little time to change her bands before moving on to the next thing because I swear there's like not enough time to like switch my bands around and then I'm losing workout time and I know what you're thinking oh why don't you just pause because I'm doing this workout with somebody else and he doesn't have resistance bands still waiting for his in the mail I don't have a lot of time I'm doing these workouts because they don't take a ton of time and I need to get through it Give a girl a couple seconds to change her resistance band to the right spot. I'm just, just little, just saying, little advice. That was a little bit frustrating. I digress. It took me until the very end to really slow down and learn how to focus on the right muscles. And I think that's why I didn't see as much in my waist as I wanted to or hoped to. I saw a lot and I felt a lot in my butt because I had the resistance bands kind of helping me, guide me, like helping me focus on the muscles that I was supposed to be targeting and plus like I already had butt muscles. I did a lot of running and in incline running so I had butt muscles so I felt like I could easily, more easily focus on them but when it came to ab stuff I felt it felt a lot harder to focus on my abs when I was using my arms to hold me up because maybe my arms aren't that aren't as strong as I'd like them to be and so it was hard to hold myself up or and I have a bad wrist so holding myself up on my wrist wasn't the easiest thing and I had to switch to a fist a lot of times to hold myself up and the fact that I had like no ab muscles apparently I couldn't focus on something that wasn't there didn't exist by the end of it I could actually feel the right muscles working and I could actually focus on working out those muscles and slowing down and working on those muscles. And also what you're eating is super important. Obviously it's going to affect your results. I am somebody that typically eats very good. I, I eat very healthy meals, but I do have one downfall and that's cookies and donuts because we found these cookie sandwiches at Whole Foods that have like chocolate chip cookies on each side filled with frosting and they're like this big. There was like two weeks where I had like three of them in one week, back to back weeks. Probably not the best thing. And then it was my partner's birthday. So we got donuts. You can see where this is going. While my meals were really healthy, I ate dessert too many times and not my healthy cookie dough, which I make pretty often now because, I mean, I love cookie dough and I can make it healthy so that I can eat it every day and, and be slim. Let me know down in the comments if you want a healthy cookie dough recipe. It's super easy and like I said, I make it all the time. There's some in my fridge right now that I will probably eat after dinner. All right, and the time that you have been waiting for my before and after so as you can see from the before and after my butt firmed up tightened up it may 
might have grown just a teeny bit, but it really firmed up, which I'm very happy about. I'm wearing the same shorts in both of these before and afters. I didn't feel like much had changed with my waist or my abs, but when I look at the before and after, I can actually see a significant difference, which makes me super excited for the next one because I think we're either gonna do the two week shred or the new summer body one. Not exactly sure yet, but my partner and I are gonna choose tonight and then start tomorrow on the next one. And I'm close enough to the ab lines, like I sort of have them on top. I'm close enough to the ab lines that if I did the like abs in two weeks, the, like two week shred, then I could get there and I would be so happy and then I could focus on other ones Either that or the slim thighs challenge because I have large thighs and it's getting real hot in Texas. I know most people think that a thigh gap is shallow, but honey, let me tell you, thigh chafe in Texas summer is a real thing. It is not fun to deal with. I've had to deal with it most of my life. There's been like two summers where I wasn't where my thighs weren't as big because I was eating really healthy and biking all the time and I didn't have to deal with them those two summers. But right now I can already feel the chafe coming on when I wear shorts outside. These puppies need to slim down. It's just a necessity. Like, I'm sorry. I know a thigh gap is supposed to be like, whatever, the skinny bitch pretty thing. No, it is even the slightest, smallest, even shrinking my thighs a little bit so they don't rub up against each other quite as much would be absolutely amazing. So maybe we'll do that one next. I'm not sure. Like I said, my partner and I are gonna decide tonight which one that we wanna do. And then I will probably make a video on that one as well with my before and afters. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this gives you a little bit of workout inspiration in quarantine. Go check her out if you haven't seen her before or if you need some quarantine at home workouts to do. All of the workouts you can do at home with absolutely no equipment. You don't have to have resistance bands even for those. It just helps your progress. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I will have more healthy recipes coming your way soon. Thanks for being patient patient with me while I'm back to work. Hopefully I can keep getting videos out every week. If not, then it will fall back to every other week. All right, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter for lots of healthy food inspiration. Hit the like button if you like this video, share it around, and maybe take one of Chloe Ting's challenges yourself, yourself and tag me so I can see hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me and I'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all.